Welcome to National Parks with the New States. We're Howard and Caitlin of the New State Nomads, and today we're taking you to one of the most visited national parks in the country, Acadia. Come along as we show you where to stay and five must-do activities in this beautiful northern Maine park. Acadia National Park is located on Mount Desert Island along the coast in northern Maine, which is about 260 miles north of Boston. It's adjacent to the beautiful town of Bar Harbor, and in our opinion, a visit to one isn't complete without a visit to the other. This national park sees about 4 million visitors a year, placing it in the top 10 most visited national parks. Given that most people do combine a trip here with a visit to Bar Harbor, there are plenty of places to stay. The National Park has three campgrounds that can accommodate RVs and one tent-only campground accessible by boat. The town of Bar Harbor has several private campgrounds and there are even more on the mainland. Bar Harbor also has plenty of hotels, motels, and inns to choose from as well. We always recommend stopping by the park's visitor center to get the lay of the land and a park map. Acadia has 27 miles of driving road, 158 miles of hiking trails, and 45 miles of carriage roads, so there's a lot to explore here. Our first recommendation is to drive the Park Loop Road, shown here in red. It's a 27-mile scenic drive that takes you along the coastline through the forest and by beautiful lakes and mountains. They're the biggest tadpoles I have ever seen in my life. And their tails are so long and they actually already have legs. So they're kind of like standing on them. And then there's a big frog that's like kind of watching over them. That is so cool. We also love combining this drive with an audio tour. It's like having a tour guide in your car. Welcome to Bar Harbor, Maine, home to the unparalleled beauty of Acadia National Park. As it turns out there's actually two different guides for Acadia National Park. We picked one in 2018, so now we're gonna do the other one. You can stop at beautiful overlooks and points of interest along the way. We would recommend budgeting at least three hours to drive the Park Loop Road with stops along the way. One thing I love the most about the coastline here is just all of the different colors and shapes of the rocks. You drive a couple miles down, it looks completely different than where you just were. It's just so cool that it's like constantly changing and evolving. As we mentioned, there are over 158 miles of hiking trails here in Acadia National Park, ranging from strenuous to leisurely. And if you travel with any furry family members like we do, Acadia is one of the most dog-friendly national parks. There are over 100 miles of trails where dogs are allowed. Scout is loving this because she gets to go and explore with us. I mean, we love it too because yeah. we love bringing her along. <laughs> we do, and she, she loves the activity and everything. Uh, Acadia National Park does also have the Bark Ranger Program which is kind of like a junior ranger program, but for dogs. And during certain months of the year, dogs are even allowed on the beaches. Just make sure to check the signs before visiting. Okay, up next, a very important topic, food. Inside the park, you'll find the historic Jordan Pond Tea House. It's a great place to grab a delicious lunch with incredible views, and you can't miss out on the famous popovers. Oh my God, look how fluffy. And I ordered <laughs> a popover sundae. This is a chocolate, ice cream with blueberry sauce and a popover. Jordan Pond House has been feeding visitors since the late 1800s when a restaurant was first established on the grounds in front of the beautiful glacier carved lake. The first popovers, which have become an iconic staple, were served here in 1895. Make sure you take a stroll around Jordan Pond to take in the views of the deepest and second largest lake in Acadia National Park. Our next must-do activity does require a bit of planning, a visit to the top of Cadillac Mountain. According to the National Park Service, this is the first place in the United States that you can see sunrise from October until March. Seeing the sunrise from Cadillac Mountain is one of the most popular things to do here in the park. And because of that, vehicle reservations are required to visit by car during certain months of the year. And tickets do book out months in advance. What happens is they release one batch uh, several months in advance, and then the remainder is released 48 hours before the date that you want to travel up the mountain. But even if you can't snag sunrise tickets, there are plenty of daytime tickets available and it's definitely worth the short drive up. You'll get incredible views out over Bar Harbor, 1500 feet above the water. And if you still have your heart set on seeing sunrise, you can also hike up the mountain, but that will definitely take more time and effort. And rounding out our top things to do in Acadia National Park, visit the town of Bar Harbor. You can grab a bite to eat at one of the many amazing local restaurants. And one of the most unique things to do is take a walk on the ocean floor. You heard that right. The tides are so drastic that the water completely vanishes, creating the Bar Island Land Bridge for people to explore. 
All right, let's go see what we can find, like some snails and clams and ocean type things. And I'll wear my water shoes so I can walk out there. These big rocks are covered in seaweed and it's just so cool because you know, when the water's up, obviously it's like, you know, floating seaweed and stuff. When the water goes down, they're all flattened out. And I just love it because like, you're getting to really like peel back the curtain or in this case, peel back the ocean and get a glimpse of what's under all the water. I just love that so much, it's so cool. We've mapped out all of these stops and more on road trippers to help you plan your own Acadia National Park adventure. And for more national parks with road trippers and the new state nomads, check out the playlist below. Thanks so much for watching.